However, the beginning of the work, it starts with the fact that we take upon ourselves that it is correct, that, that we do have shattered vessels. Ten parts of that same Havaya, of that same ten, and we need to begin to, co to connect them according to the condition of Arvut, each one for the others. Not egoistically one for the others, but here it's different. Rabash, he tells us about this, that each one needs to make himself small with respect to the others and to make great in another way and to include himself in the others and to pray for them and to feel himself responsibility for them all to see everyone as a replica of him and accordingly to advance through various conditions. So, the law called Arvut is simply a general law of all of nature. If not for our corrupted view, which is distorted by our ego, we would see the system the Creator created as Havaya, as Ensof, ideal, that all of these parts are connected to one another, working as one. That's why the condition to receiving the Torah, to advancing in the ladder, to even entering the ladder, that is the condition of Arvut. Without it, as it's written in the actual Torah, are you ready for this? If you are ready for the condition of Arvut, to start realizing this, to start acquiring it, to start organizing it, then go ahead, that's what the Torah was given for. And then you'll get the light that reforms, that it, it will do that. You only need to be prepared for the condition of Arvut, inclusion, mutual connection, in a way that everyone will be in one system as one.